Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of our little sniff session series that we have going on here on my channel, where we are sniffing our way through each and every scent category in the 2023 spring and summer Scentsy catalog. I absolutely love doing this with you guys. Um, hopefully you are finding this series helpful, um, but I myself just selfishly enjoy doing this as well too. I enjoy just going through my testers, smelling through everything, revisiting some scents that maybe I didn't care for before or revisiting scents that I know I love. Just like revisiting them, re-sniffing them, falling back in love with some of these scents all over again. It's so much fun. So um, today we are going to be sniffing our way through the fresh category of fragrances and there are 19 fragrances in this category. So you guys know I like to chit chat. So let's go ahead and get started. That way this is not an hour long video for you to try to struggle through. <laughs> okay. So, and I also like to uh, do a couple of things during this series as well. As we're sniffing through these scents and this category, I will let you know my thoughts on if I agree with the scent placement um, in terms of like, if I actually think this is a fresh scent or if I think it's more floral or if I think it's more fruity, because <laughs> yes, there is a scent that I feel like is definitely more fruity in this category than fresh. Um, and then I also like to give you my top six picks for this particular category. So just something kind of fun I like to do, and I hope you've been enjoying this series. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So again, we are sniffing our way through fresh. We have a few bestsellers in this category. We also have some brand new fragrances as well that we've already talked about um, when we kicked off this series. We did kind of a first sniffs of the new releases together. So um, some of these will be repeats, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. So the first one we're going to talk about is aloe water and cucumber. And I love, by the way, this whole, like I, I'm looking down at my testers here. The funny thing about the fresh scent category, it's always this like beautiful array of greens and blues, <laughs> like in terms of like the colors. So I'm just looking down to like a sea of greens and blues down here on my table. But um, anyway, so aloe water and cucumber, is a great, great scent. I really love this. And I know just based on the name of this and even the scent description, you're probably thinking, yeah, but it's probably gonna be super, super light. So I'm not gonna like it. If you're someone who you really like, like stronger fragrances, you may think just based on the name and the scent description that it's not going to perform for you. This is a strong one. <laughs> really strong one. And I know I have shared this um, story, my experience um, on my first impression of this scent. I know I've shared it a couple of times here on my channel. So if you've already heard this, I do apologize. You're going to hear it again. <laughs> um, and you'll probably hear it again after this. But the aloe water and cucumber, I will always remember my first experience with this scent. Um, I remember I was walking up to our Scentsy World Tour, which is our springtime conventions that Scentsy holds like all over the different regions. So that way more people can attend different from our like bigger um, summertime convention where it's in one location that people will travel to typically. So with these Scentsy events, these conventions, basically, um, of course, you're going to see some new products. You're going to see new product displays. You're also going to see new scents and smell new scents because they're going to have them warming typically. Um, and I will always remember they had aloe water and cucumber going throughout the like registration area. And I was like, this is, this was held in like a convention center. <laughs> so you want to talk about a good performing scent for an open concept. <laughs> if it can perform in a convention center, it's saying that this is going to be a good one for you, for you open concept people. <laughs> um, this is a really, really great one. I will always remember walking up and just smelling it. And I just thought, I love this scent. <laughs> I'm just like, it is sweet. It is fresh. It is clean and it's strong, but not like crazy overpowering strong, but it's strong enough that like I can smell it here in this convention center. <laughs> Like, this is so good. So I'll always remember asking her and I will always, always remember there was the Nova warmer that was sitting on the registration desk. And I remember just saying like, what is this smell? And she's like, it's aloe water and cucumber. It's one of the new ones back when it was new. Ugh. And I will always remember that moment because I was just like, I was sold. I was completely sold on it from that point forward. 
It is so good. It is sweet. It is fresh. Um, and it's clean without being like your traditional, typical like lemon clean fresh scent. Um, this is just, there's just something so sweet and clean about it. I love it. It's fantastic. Okay, can I gush any more about this scent? I don't think so. <laughs> so aloe water and cucumber definitely gets two thumbs up here from me. So this is described as aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. I think it's a really great combination. Um, you know, you've got the cucumber peel, you've got the aloe, uh, but then just that little hint of sweetness that you're getting from the pineapple nectar. Um, and I feel like the palm frond that's giving you just kind of like a little like earthy element to it. It's just, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I cannot say enough good stuff about this one. So hello water and cucumber to kick off the fresh category of fragrances. Okay, and up next is another bestseller. I don't know if I told you, but um, aloe water and cucumber, that's a bestseller. Also, another bestseller is Amazon Rain. Amazon Rain is a really great one. I did wind up ruining this scent for me for a while, for a couple of years. I am back in the Amazon Rain fan club, but I did wind up ruining it for myself. <laughs> And I know that I have talked to um, a few people here on my channel saying that like, oh yeah, but you know, you get one of your favorite scents in a cleaning product. And then if you use it, like you spend a whole day cleaning and you're using it, you know, to dust, you're using it in your bathroom, you're using it on like all of the things, then your favorite scent, you're mentally, it's noting to yourself, okay, the scent is now associated with cleaning. <laughs> So then it doesn't smell like a special scent anymore, at least for me, and I know a couple other people, that's what I did with Amazon Rain. <laughs> I love this scent, and talk about a powerhouse, this is a really strong fresh scent as well. Um, and this is one that my nose always goes rogue to, um, because to me, this is fresh and sweet and clean for sure. To me, I get like lemon and lime, and a little bit of like, there is a sweetness at the end and almost like a tiny hint of floral, just so ever so slightly, but slightly. But I do get like lemon and lime, like really nice. Um, that's not at all what it's supposed to smell like. My nose just goes rogue on this one, but it's so funny. So when Sensi had first released like the counter clean and like the cleaning line, um, Amazon Rain was one of the first scents released in the cleaning line. So I was like, of course I'm gonna get Amazon Rain. I love Amazon Rain. So I went crazy with the counter clean in Amazon Rain. <laughs> and I ruined this scent for myself for a couple of years. But now, like I said, I am, um, I'm much better now. I feel like I can definitely warm it and enjoy it and not feel like, oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm smelling like just a cleaning product. Okay. So Amazon Rain, let me tell you what the actual scent description is because it's not at all what I smell. Um, and that's and that's okay. That's one of the really cool things about fragrance and scent is that everybody can pick up something a little bit different. I always say everybody sniffer differs. It's because it's true. Um, some people may pick up some different elements in scents um, and some people you just go totally rogue. Like some people think that blueberry cheesecake smells like cat pee. Um, that's clearly not what it's supposed to smell like, but you know, everybody has a different take on different scents, right? So I just get like a lemon lime, sweet, almost floral scent from this. And I, I love it though. I, I absolutely love it. So let me tell you what Sensi says. <laughs> Amazon Rain is described as set off on a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon, which I do love melon. I just don't smell it in here. Melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. So I guess, I guess I get like a quarter of a point because I guess we can say I pick up jasmine <laughs> on, on the like back end, just like a little hint of floral, but there's no lemon or lime in this. I just, I don't know. I just, I, I smell it. I have ever since day one and I'm just, I'm sticking to my guns on this one. So that is Amazon Rain, a bestseller, a powerhouse, a fantastic scent. So don't ruin it for yourself. <laughs> okay, so next scent here on our list is Banana Leaf and Bamboo. And Bana Banana Leaf and Bamboo um, is a new release this season. And I know some of us got a bar of this in the Whiff Box in February. So you got a chance to like try this out before it actually launched. And this is a really, really nice one. This is, um, 
for me, it is definitely categorized, by the way, um, so far all three of these that we're starting off with, I feel like totally belong in the fresh category for sure. Um, you And you would think with Amazon Rain being more like melon and orange zest and coconut milk that it would be more fruity, but to my nose, since I don't smell that, <laughs> I do think that this is appropriate for fresh. Um, but yes, banana leaf and bamboo, this is definitely categorized as fresh. I think it's definitely categorized properly. Um, this to me, it's more earthy green, um, but fresh, like th there's like dewy greens. It's fresh, it's clean, but definitely earthy for sure. If you like flower shop, if you like those more like earthy green scents, I think you're really going to like this. And this is a really good performer as well. So really nice. Um, banana leaf and bamboo is described as juicy, sweet, white peach. <laughs> I don't really pick up peach. It's probably adding um, some sweetness in there, but like I don't smell this and think, oh, it's peachy. I don't. I, I think, like I said, I think it is there. Um, I think it is, obviously it's there. It's in the th scent description, but I think it's just, instead of like coming forefront peachy, it's just more like in the background adding some sweetness. Um, so juicy, sweet white peach and banana leaf envelop aged bamboo and sheer mahogany. So, um, I would agree with that. I think that's a really fancy description of just saying that it smells like fresh, earthy, clean, and green. <laughs> so really nice. Um, love that one. So banana leaf and bamboo new release for this spring and summer season. Next one is a bestseller and it is one of my favorites. Again, kind of similar to aloe water and cucumber where the name in the scent description, you're going to think this is not a strong scent at all, but it is. And it is by the sea. And this is the perfect beachy aquatic scent. It really is. This is fantastic. And the, and the thing that I love about this is that you do pick up almost like sea salt air. Like there is like a salty element to this, but it's very aquatic. And I feel like it's so beachy and so perfect in that sense. So if you love uh, more aquatic, fresh, clean scents like that, I think you're really going to love this one. And this is a fantastic performer as well. So love that. By the Sea is described as the scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. I totally agree. And I would just add in there, I mean, ocean air. So you're going to like automatically implement that there is like a salty note there, but it's just so good. It's so good. I love it. So by the Sea. Okay, and next up on our list, we have Clean Breeze. So this is going to be for my friends who want fresh like laundry type scents. That's kind of the cool thing about this particular category where fresh can mean a lot of different things. Fresh can mean earthy, green, grassy. Fresh can mean aquatic, more of your like watery kind of fresh notes. Um, fresh can mean laundry. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different fresh elements or a lot of different takes that you can take on fresh. So I think that's why this particular um, scent category is a little bit on the larger side because you've got all different kinds of takes on fresh scents. So clean breeze for my laundry lovers. Um, this is like fresh laundry, <laughs> like warm, fresh out of the dryer laundry. This is just that. There's no other like really, although I will say I always like to smell the next scent and this scent side by side, clothesline and clean breeze. Um, I think clothesline is just a touch sweeter. Um, clean breeze has more of a little, a little bit more of a floral element to this, but both just your good traditional, like fresh, clean laundry type scents. So that's what this is going to be for you. Clean Breeze is described as white florals with a touch of spring. This is the scent of fresh, clean laundry. I 100% agree and clearly it does belong in the fresh category for sure. And as I mentioned, our next up scent is going to be clothesline. Clothesline, again, going to be your more traditional like laundry kind of scent. You want to talk about powerhouse this is probably the strongest scent that scentsy has ever created in my opinion i think th if you're looking for a fresh clean crazy powerhouse like so much so like probably start off with like one cube if you're if you're sensitive 
I probably wouldn't go with this scent. <laughs> or if you really, really want to give it a try, maybe start off with like half a cube. Like she's strong. She's strong, friends. So, um, but yeah, this is fresh, clean laundry and very strong. But like I said, I like to always smell these side by side. Um, clean breeze. Clean breeze, you're getting a little bit more of that floral. Clothesline, you're getting, it's still, it's still very laundry. Like both of these smell very laundry. It's exactly like what you would expect, but clean breeze is a, or sorry, um, clothesline. That's what we're smelling right now. Clothesline is just a little bit sweeter. Yes. Okay. Clothesline is described as crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry. So there you go, kind of similar scent descriptions between Clean Breeze and Clothesline. Clothesline is a bestseller, Clean Breeze is not. Um, but I think, because you've got crisp greens, orange flower, so orange flower maybe is giving a little more of the sweetness. Um, creamy violet, white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just wash laundry. Yeah, I don't know. There's, the, it just, this is a little sweeter. <laughs> Both great uh, fresh laundry scents. Uh, both definitely deserve to stay in the fresh category for sure. But as far as differences go, Clean Breeze, a little more floral, Clothesline, a little more sweet. Okay, next one, I do not agree. <laughs> I do not agree that this should be in the fresh scent category. I love this scent. I just don't think it needs to be in the fresh category of fragrances. And it's Coconuts for Coconuts. <laughs> Talk about random. Um, I guess maybe I don't know it, this is fruity <laughs> this is I guess like for me and this is one scent that like I love on cold but oh man when it's warming it does transform a little bit and I love it even more when it's warming it is so good so so good I love it this is um gosh because I would almost say that even rather than the fresh category this is a stretch, but it makes more sense to me than fresh would even be putting this in the floral category because to me, this is a really great coconut scent with almost like a floral finish, but it's all coconut. Like it's, it's coconut with a slight floral finish and it's, it's really nice. I just don't think it needs to be in the fresh category. Um, but let me read you the uh, scent description. I'm just telling you what I smell. It's coconuts, coconuts for coconuts. <laughs> And this should be in the fruity category. Okay, so coconuts for coconuts. An ocean breeze. So I'm guessing it's the ocean breeze that now categorizes this as fresh. <laughs> I guess. Um, an ocean breeze weaves along a coastline lush with wild coconut and tiare flower. You know, I I agree. I agree with the scent description. Um. I don't get like like salty sea air from this at all. Um, I just get the wild coconut and apparently the tiare flower. The, it's, it's fantastic, I love this. I just don't know that it really should be in the fresh category, but it's fantastic, so there's that. Oh, you know what I just realized? I'm picking my top six, which is gonna be very difficult because there's a lot of these that I love and they're like my tried and true, but am I picking my top six fresh that I think are fresh or just top six in this fresh category. <laughs> Definitely overthinking here. Okay. Um, next one. Let's, we will cross that bridge when we get there. Right friends. Okay. Next one is actually, and this is one of the other reasons why I really like doing these like sniff sessions with you guys because daydream oasis, this is next up on deck and daydream oasis is one that <sighs> I love this definitely belongs in the fresh category it's um, it's fresh and clean I'd say it gives me almost a slightly cologne kind of scent feel to this um, but my previous experience with this particular scent was that it was so so light and I just could not enjoy it um, but I did wind up with a bar around her somewhere and I just was like you know what I just there's no point in me hanging on to this bar because it's not one that I really reach for because it's just not a performer for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and warm through it it did great 
it did great it wasn't a powerhouse but i could definitely smell it which was great so i don't know if i just gave the fragrance oils enough time to cure longer or what i i don't know or if it's the fact that we're in a one-story house and this house is very different from our last house i have no idea but i'm here for it i literally just you guys will see another haul coming up i already told you guys this this spring and summer season is going to be haul heavy um one of my next hauls that's coming there's lots of daydream oasis in it pods all the things bars <laughs> so good i love that we have it in the counter clean now oh man so good so um i love this i love this fresh clean um a little bit of a masculine cologne -y kind of finish but it's it's delightful i love it um this is described daydream oasis is described as lose yourself in sweet melon and visions of luminous pear leaf and water lily I don't really get a ton of melon again with like the some of these others that I've said um maybe it's adding some sweetness but I don't smell this and say oh man this is melon unlike some other scents that we're going to talk about in this category where yes the melon is definitely in the forefront this is more just adding some sweetness so if you're not necessarily a melon lover if you don't love melon scents I wouldn't write this one off I feel like it's just adding some sweetness um, but it is <clears throat> fresh, clean. Um, I would say I would categorize this as like aquatic fresh and, um, yeah, it's great. I love it. So fantastic. I'm so happy that I've come back around to this end because I love it. I'm loving it this year for sure. Okay. Next one is jammy time. I love this one. This is a staple in the Roberry house. We love it in all of the things. I want it in the laundry. I want it in the wax. I want it in the pods. I want it in all of the things. Um, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. And this makes me feel some kind of way because we, we use it in the laundry for our bedding and our towels. And this is just it's so comforting and cozy and sweet and i just i love this this is i would say i would say this is categorized perfectly i think this is definitely belongs um well i could see it going either between floral or fresh i think because we use it in the laundry <laughs> here in my house that's why it makes sense for me and fresh but i think if i'm just smelling the scent for the scent itself probably a little bit more floral but it's because i'm picking up some <sighs> lavender i'm getting is it sweet pea from this i'm getting some different sweet florals from this um but it's definitely it's definitely a sweet floral fresh definitely for sure um so jammy time is described as drift into dreamland with baby freesia lavender and sweet pea and absolutely i would completely agree with this for sure so just reading that scent description i do think it probably it should probably be in the floral category but it also in my mind when i smell this i'm like oh of course that's fresh it's laundry <laughs> it smells like my laundry i love it so jammy time uh definitely a great one for the fresh category for sure oh, so good so so good okay and next up in the fresh category we are about halfway so if you're still hanging with me thank you <laughs> um next one up on deck here is just breathe and just breathe i feel like is a fresh category staple and one that i hope sensi does keep around all the time while it's not necessarily one that i feel like i can't live without um i definitely feel like it's it's one that should stick around because this is more of your like eucalyptus fresh like it's almost medicinal like and I'm going to say this and I'm, it sounds like it's not a good thing. <laughs> this almost sounds like an insult, but it's not. I mean this in the best possible way. It kind of smells like Vicks <laughs> where you have that kind of like medicinal, almost like cooling effect to this. So I believe it's like, there's some lemon, there's lemon in this, there's eucalyptus. And there's also like a minty element to this. That's just like giving some coolness. I can almost feel this if that makes sense you can't you you can't but like that's how tried and true this scent is you can almost feel it uh, this is one that's also really really beautiful when it's warmed it almost gives you more like spa like vibes like when you're walking into a spa you're just like oh yes 
yes, <laughs> lift all of the weight off of me <laughs> and let me just forget everything in like the real world right now. Um, so this is giving you more like spa kind of vibes. Um, and that's very different from anything that Scentsy um, has offered in, in my opinion. So hopefully it does stick around. And I love that we have it now in hand soap and, and some other products and stuff. So that's awesome. I love it. So just breathe. And I, I think fresh, absolutely this does not belong in any other category but fresh in my opinion so just breathe is described as breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus zesty lemon and a medley of mints comfort and rejuvenate one bajillion percent absolutely this this is completely the scent description and it matches perfectly and it belongs in fresh so there's that okay Next one is a new release. So we've already talked about this one, but we're going to talk about it again. And it is Lake My Day. Uh, and this is a great, um, this is definitely a great fresh scent for sure. Again, kind of similar with Daydream Oasis. It is fresh, clean, aquatic with a little bit of a masculine cologne finish. Really, really nice. Does great as far as performance. Great. If you are looking for like this type of scent and you're going between Daydream Oasis and Lake My Day, for me, I would say go Lake My Day all day, every day, and twice on Sundays. Um, I, I love Daydream Oasis, and they're, they're different scents. They're definitely different, but similar. They're cousins. <laughs> they're, they're cousins. But if you're only to pick one, I'd say Lake My Day, especially if you prefer like stronger performance, um, longer lasting, stronger in terms of scent, strength, and throw, all of that, fantastic fantastic so love that lake my day is described as refreshing lake waves lap peacefully over crisp bergamot and fresh oak moss so this is perfect i totally agree with this um i love the more like fresh aquatic kind of sense so this is totally up my alley and i love it and like i said so with that I would say, you know, just add in a little like masculine cologne kind of finish for me is what I smell. So lick my day. Okay, next one is Magnolia Linen. So this is another one that's more like laundry-esque um, in terms of like laundry freshness rather than aquatic fresh or spa fresh. There's, I'm telling you, there's all kinds of different takes to the fresh category, um, but this is beautiful. This is definitely a laundry type scent um hi i love this it's so beautiful and i this is more of your floral kind of laundry scent but you get that like clean laundry like smell that's really like the heart and base of this scent magnolia linen which is also in the laundry line which is fantastic as well magnolia linen is sun washed linen dances in the breeze amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle it's so good so sweet so perfect love it definitely belongs in the fresh category for sure Okay, and who's up next? Well, Make a Splash. <laughs> Make a Splash is definitely up next. And I, hmm, I do, I do think, I do think that this should be in the fresh category, but like I was mentioning earlier, some like melons or peaches or things like that are just adding sweetness rather than being like, hello, I am melon. <laughs> This is Hello, I am Melon. This is definitely melon in the forefront, and I'm here for it. I love it. So it's melon and some fresh aquatic notes. That's just so delightful. I, and, and talk about Powerhouse again. Like, honestly, <laughs> the fresh category has some really, really good uh, performing scents in this. You would think, at least for me, in my brain, the way my brain computes is fresh equals weak. <laughs> Like, cause you just think, you know, you're thinking, oh, sea salt air or like ocean air, or this smells like water. Water doesn't have a smell. <laughs> so I'm thinking these are going to be weak, but they're not. They are great. Um, so make a splash is dewy melon and fresh green apple dive into refreshing turquoise waters. I totally agree with this. It's really that melon that's in the forefront, but I do get some of the hints of the apple and I do get more like aquatic kind of feels from this. So it's great. And like I said, totally what I love, I absolutely love scent memory because I took this scent. I don't know if it was the first time I had warmed it, but my husband and I, we took, we decided to just take a little getaway 
it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing and we um stayed on the beach and we just just a couple of days like i said totally spur of the moment when i travel I gotta bring my Scentsy with me. And so <clears throat> Make a Splash was what I brought. We were literally staying like feet away from the beach. And I was just like, of course, make a splash. So I bring my warmers, I bring my wax, and I filled, um, filled the house. It was an Airbnb. We filled the house with Make a Splash and it was so strong and it was so good. And so every time I smell this, it totally takes me back to that little like beach getaway that we took. And it was fantastic and so i think that's another reason why i really like this scent because it reminds me of like happy memories <laughs> i love it so it's also a fantastic scent and a fantastic performer as well so make a splash okay next one is another new release and it is mountain sunset and i'm sad to say i love this scent sean doesn't like it so going forward i think i'm just gonna either have to I'm gonna have to warm this in either different areas or maybe not all concentrated in one spot because I had this going in our bedroom and I, I don't know what it was about this but he just he just didn't like it he just didn't like it um what I love about this this is another one that I feel like really it's probably more fruity because I smell more coconut in this um totally not what I would expect just based on the name mountain sunset I would think more um again with like fresh air kind of scents this is definitely more I think fruity to me I, I would not thinking mountain sunset I wouldn't think coconuts you don't find coconuts in the mountains <laughs> like we live in the mountains like there's there's no there's no coconuts in the mountains I, I don't know, but I mean, I'm, I'm here for this. <laughs> this is fantastic. So let's go ahead and talk about the scent description. Mountain Sunset is taking the view over wild bluebell and warm woods as coconut and golden amber fill the air. I definitely agree with the amber. I definitely agree with the coconut. There is probably a little bit of that floral element, a little bit of like a warm woody element, very, very much like hints of those two things it really is more of that amber and coconut i love it i just don't know that it's fresh so oh man this is gonna be so hard oh this is gonna be so hard to pick my tops <laughs> but we've got a few more scents to talk about before i have to make any difficult decisions <laughs> okay so next one we're gonna talk about is newborn nursery and i'm gonna give you two guesses what it smelled like and the first guess doesn't count it smells like baby powder <laughs> this it whoo I, I would imagine this is strong. I will tell you, in my years with Scentsy, as a consultant, as a customer, I have never warmed this scent. Um, it could be that we don't have kids, so I just, I don't, I don't have like an emotional attachment to the scent of baby powder, but it's all baby powder. <laughs> but it's funny and it's sweet whenever I um, am doing like a sniff session with somebody or uh, maybe we're doing a party or something. And seeing people smell this scent for the first time, they'll smell this and you can almost like see and feel the reaction and the memories that are flooding back to them when they have kids and they're like, oh man, this reminds me of when my kids were babies. And you know, so it brings back some, some great memories. Like I was saying about scent memory, you know, make a splash for me, it totally takes me back to our little beach getaway. Um, so this scent a lot of times will bring people back to when their kids were babies. So um, I can appreciate it for that, but for me, not really a fan of baby powder smells. <laughs> so newborn nursery is described as fresh, clean, and powdery. This dreamy scent evokes memories of cradling your little ones. I think the scent description is done perfectly and it's so, so accurate. <laughs> it is so, so accurate. So newborn nursery. Okay, next one is Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. Super, super happy that this one did come back. This one was originally released as a scent of the month and I will always remember how obsessed I was with this scent of the month. Again, another crazy great performer. I would say it's a powerhouse for sure. This is definitely your fresh aquatic kind of scent. Beachy, fresh, clean, aquatic. Whew, fantastic, fantastic performer. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze is described as bright palm leaf and fresh coconut water sway to the rhythm of an ocean breeze. So, Again, if you are someone who you're like, oh, I can't do coconut scents. I'm not going to go for coconuts for coconuts. I'm not going to go for mountain sunset. I wouldn't say necessarily you need to deter yourself away from palm trees and ocean breeze. Coconut water, I really, 
it might be adding some sweetness. I don't get any hint of coconut in this whatsoever. Bright palm leaf, ocean breeze, some 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 like aquatic feels to this for sure. I do not get coconut. So don't be like worried about that. Um, and this is a great performer too. So palm trees and ocean breeze definitely belongs in the fresh category. Okay, next one, Shoreline Drive. And this one for me is probably one of the lighter scents in this category. It's it's nice for sure. Um, this is just, it's for me, it has been um, a little bit more on the lighter side, but um, this is this is nice. I do get kind of, it's similar to me. It's similar to By the Sea um, in that I can smell like that salty sea air, some like dewy greens. Um, but for me, By the Sea is more, a little more authentic and definitely stronger for me in, in my experience, but kind of along the same vein there. So Shoreline Drive is take the scenic route with dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. So I would agree with that. I would agree with that. It's just a lighter performer, a lighter scent than By the Sea. So if you are looking for something like that, um, if you've tried by the sea and maybe it's a little too strong and you've gone down in cubes that you're using in your warmer, but still too strong, I'd maybe go for shoreline drive. But for me, my vote would be by the sea. Okay. We've got two more to talk about. So we have whipped vanilla lavender. Again, this one kind of along with jammy time, I feel like yeah, I guess it would be fresh, but I can also see it like teeter tottering into like floral. So either way, but this is so great. This one was actually a part of our Mother's Day collection last year and it did make a return into our seasonal catalog. So I'm really, really glad because Scentsy does such a great job with lavender scents. This one's not crazy, crazy strong, but it's really, really nice. Perfect for a bedroom, perfect for a bathroom, perfect for a nursery or your kid's room. Really, really nice. I love the lavender in this um, and the just little hint of vanilla. It's not a bakery vanilla. It's not taking this floral or this fresh scent and making it bakery. It's just adding some sweetness, which is so nice and light and wonderful. So really, really nice. Whipped vanilla lavender is sweet coconut milk. Again, no coconut in this. So if you are not a coconut fan, I wouldn't worry about it. Sweet coconut milk and whipped vanilla soothed by English lavender. Really, really nice. Love that one. So whipped vanilla lavender. And last, but most certainly not least, is another new release and it is Woodland Meadow. Woodland Meadow is really nice. Um, this is going to be more, uh, is this, it's not aquatic. It's again, giving me like fresh, clean cologne kind of vibes, kind of masculine cologne. So if you like those more masculine, um, kind of cologne kind of scents, I think you'll really like this. Um, yeah. So that's kind of where we're at there. So build yourself a little masculine three pack <laughs> with uh, Woodland Meadow, Lake My Day and Daydream Oasis. Cause I feel like all three are cousins and, but they each have their own little twist. Okay, Woodland Meadow is woodland wildflowers flourish beneath a beautiful forest canopy and an air of bergamot and amber. I think it's the bergamot that gives it some like masculine vibes, but it's really nice. So there is that. So that is the fresh, category of fragrances. Now the hard part. Now I have to pick my top six out of this fantastic category of fragrances. Okay. So after a lot of hemming and hawing over here, <laughs> I have picked six plus an honorable mention. <laughs> so technically I'm picking seven, but let me explain. Okay. And not in any particular order. I will say not in any particular order. So my picks would be make a splash, aloe water and cucumber, jammy time palm trees and ocean breeze by the sea and a new addition for me for my list daydream oasis those would be my top six picks like if someone said pick me six fresh scents like whatever you want pick your favorite six fresh fragrances that's what i would go with i would i would choose those but I feel like because it's not in any other category or it's not in the category I feel like it should be in, I feel, and I, and I love it, coconuts for coconuts. <laughs> so coconuts for coconuts is my honorable mention 
but like if someone were to say pick me six fresh scents those would be the six i would go with this one would definitely be for my friends who love pina colada cha-cha who are looking for the like more like fruity coconutty um pink coconut you know all of that like that's more like fruity to me or like tropical vibes but i love it so i feel like i don't want to not talk about it <laughs> i feel like it definitely deserves to be mentioned it's just not necessarily a fresh scent to me but i would recommend it if you really like coconut scents you gotta give this one a try it is beautiful so love that but these would definitely be my six recommended fresh fragrances so there you have it that is the fresh category of fragrances available for the 2023 scentsy spring and summer season let me know down below in the comments what are your favorite fresh fragrances that are currently available i love hearing from you guys and it's so fun to see if like some of us have some of the same um taste or the same favorites in each category so i really love hearing from oh, gosh and i did did i even really pick i didn't even really, well i did pick i did pick one laundry scent but clearly I am one who likes more of the like aquatic fresh scents. That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content, if you're loving this series. Um, I appreciate the love and support so, so much. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.